We're doing a demonstration because we're doing a leak detection on a ductless evaporator coil that we just got in. Um, we found a leak on it and I don't find a lot of ductless evaporator coil leaks so I wanted to just verify the leak location. But I, I wanted to also show the H10G or the, this is, we actually have an old H10G here, show its performance against the new Testo leak detector that I just got and see what we find out. I chose this evaporator coil um, to do this demonstration because it's a ductless evaporator coil that has a leak in the fin pack. That's how it was diagnosed. So we're gonna go and do the leak detection with a couple different leak detectors, pinpoint it exactly where it is, and then I'm actually gonna pull the fins away and see if we can literally pinpoint the location of this leak and see if we can figure out what caused it. Um, we're working with 410A refrigerant and uh, we'll get right to it. So here I got my leak detector all hooked up. Um, I had this warming up for about five minutes here, so we're good to go. Um, again, this is the H10G model, and I have it on the small setting. You can see this one's floating up about an eighth of an inch or so. It's kind of bouncing there. Um, Previously, this one wasn't floating that much, and it, it really needs to be doing that. So I went ahead and replaced the pump with Brian. And uh, before we were getting about a four to five second lag, so we would, so say our leaks here, we would pass the leak, and then it wouldn't indicate it had a leak till you know here, or if you were to pass the leak here, and then you're going to check down here and then it would react to you know the leak that was up here five seconds later just due to the slow pumping and it slowly going down your hose now with the new pump in it and the ball you know hovering like it's supposed to it picks the leak up way quicker i'm just going to do a couple passes over it we're going to see how easily it picks it up and then brian orr is going to go ahead and do it with the testo um, and kind of get an idea of comparison. So right here is where it's leaking. Make a little indention there. You can kind of see that. Now I'm going to show you the uh, Testo 316-3, which is a heated diode sensor. You see how quick, one thing I do like about it is how quick it warms up. Yeah, I had to leave this one running, so it warms up. Yeah, the, uh, the H10G, this, you gotta, you got to let it run a little longer. And this is a pretty small leak on this thing. We're, we're going to figure out how much nitrogen it's losing right. um, over hour, two hour period, whatever it may be. Uh, but it, it's a fairly small leak. One thing about this particular leak detector is that if you block off the end, go ahead and block off the end and show them. Go ahead and do it again. So you definitely don't want to block off the end because that will give you a, a false a false positive. But you can see where you get right on there. Go back to it. I mean, it's really, really tiny, but... Yeah, so I'll mark the leak so you can actually see where it is. It's right in this, somewhere in this general area. This one, you know, if you're traveling at your normal speed, you're going to be within probably a two inch radius of the leak. Right, by the time that it hits. And so you can just keep kind of going back to it. And as anybody who's actually done leak detection knows, it's uh, I think it's a little lower than that. You think it is? I mean, this it's, is a small leak. below this tube right here. Okay? Yeah, this is so a it's, small it's in, leak. It's in this tube. And we're gonna say it's right about there. there. Yeah. 
So yeah, it's about a half second, one second delay maybe. Yeah, this one seems to you know have an accuracy, and, and the rated accuracy it's, I mean like almost identical between this and that. Um, but the one advantage to this is handheld, battery operated, and significantly less expensive, like half the price. Oh, that's awesome. We've got you know some corrosion, nothing, nothing way out of the ordinary. But where we're actually picking up the leak consistently is in the fin pack. So we were consistently picking it up on this third row of tubing right here, just right about there. I made a little, made a little bend in the fins. So see what we can find. There it is. There's actually like a little nick on the copper tubing. It doesn't really look like formicary corrosion that I'm used to seeing, and it's definitely right there, right on top. It's probably kind of hard for you to see there, but it's like it's like there's a little nick. And it is a very small leak, but we are getting bubbles. So for those of you who feel like electronic leak detector can't pinpoint a leak, this was first diagnosed in the field in the fin pack, and then we re we I rechecked it here with both the, both the Testo leak detector and the H10G. Um, the performance of the two leak detectors was very very similar, and they both pinpointed the leak right at this point. In fact, the Testo leak detector actually pinpointed it. Uh, a little bit quicker, so it read just a touch quicker because of the location of the sensor, um, but verified the exact leak location, which is kind of what I'm going to suggest that we do more often in the field whenever possible. This is actually a leak that, you know, if, if you had to, in a pinch, get by and patch it, you could, you could patch it. It's like there's a little, almost like a little rough spot on the copper there. Um, obviously, when you, once you dig out the fins, you've, you've really ruined the coil. Uh, but in some applications where you just need to get by and you've got a copper coil with aluminum fins, you can patch it this way to, to get by until you can get a get a proper coil. So I'm Brian Orr with HVAC School and HVACRschool.com. If you would be willing to subscribe to the YouTube channel, I would sure appreciate it. And also subscribe to the podcast. Find a podcast app on your phone and look for the word HVAC. Just search HVAC, look up our podcast and subscribe to it. I think you'll enjoy it. Thanks for being here. See you next time on HVAC School.